Incredible new video out of Malden. Neighbors running for cover after what looks like a plume of smoke started moving down the block. Sky Ranger over the aftermath. The smoke coming after fire suppression discharged without warning, spraying customers in the face. You saw the car there caught in the middle of everything. NBC 10's Jericho Tran spoke with the woman who was inside that car when it happened. She joins us live from the gas station. Jericho. Some scary moments indeed. I want to show you what it looks like here at the gas station now. They've been closed for hours. You can see the cleanup effort continues. They've got the brooms out, the vacuum cleaners out, and you can see that white dust in the air. And I want to give you an idea of just how much of this dust uh, is still in the air right now. I'm across the street. Take a look at this right here. You can see all of this dust has kind of settled on the cars across the street uh, all over around Main Street here in Malden. So you can really just just imagine how scary it was when all of that foam came crashing into that woman's face. Here's what she had to say. This is Anicia Kenny. Just moments after her trip to the gas station turned into a nightmare. I was just getting gas and all of a sudden it just felt like a hundred uh, fire extinguishers hitting you at once. Those fire extinguishers located at the top of the station released fire suppression foam, dowsing cars and customers at the Snapmark gas station before spewing down Main Street. <laughs> Sending neighbors running for cover. The first thing I thought in my head was like, oh my God, this is going to blow up and I couldn't breathe. With what looked like white powder covering Kenny from head to toe and filling the inside of her white infinity. It was kind of like someone just threw tons of chemicals in my face. She noticed that the only thing missing from all this chaos was an actual fire. There was no fire, no car crash. It just went off. Shortly after the ordeal, Kenny started to feel sick and went to the hospital, leaving her car behind. They did an EKG because my chest was hurting and my I was like feeling really hot and I just thought it was warm in there, but the chemicals were actually like irritating my skin and burning a little bit. Back at the scene, crews worked to clean up the white foam, which now covers the surrounding cars in the area. To see the video from someone who was down the street, I, was, I can't believe I was in the middle of all that. And we're taking a live look at that cleanup effort now as it continues. I spoke with Kenny. She says that she still feels uh, a little sick, but doctors say that she will uh, start to get better over the next couple weeks. Uh, she also says the gas station is working with her to try and get her car detailed. You saw how messy it was inside. Police say there were no other injuries, and they also say that they're investigating to exactly what triggered this foam here. But that's the very latest in Malden. Jericho Tran, NBC10 Boston.